SmartSuite Rollup fields are essential when it comes to summarizing and aggregating data from your linked records. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a SmartSuite implementation partner. I think a perfect use case to talk about rollups is anytime we're doing anything revenue-oriented. So in this case, we're using an example inside of the sales CRM. This is a solution template. I've got a list of our accounts here, and we've got the opportunities that represent the deals that we're trying to close to do business with those accounts. So here for About and Forever, I have four linked opportunities. They all are linked records back to the account. And in this case, we're trying to summarize that estimated value because we want to say, what's our total pipeline that we have that we're trying to close. Now, this is something that would be helpful to see on our account because we wanna focus on those top accounts where we say we have the most pipeline currently available. So to do this, let's go ahead and create a new rollup field here. And this is just a field type that you can choose from. And here we're going to first choose our linked record. So this is coming from our opportunities that we talked about. And then we need to choose the rollup field. So we're coming from the estimated value. Now, if we were looking at what actually closed, we could do our actual contract value. That would make sense for another rollup, but let's do that estimated value here. Then we've got a choice of some different rollup functions. So I want to do the sum because I want to see that total amount of pipeline, but we could also do average, min, max, or a range. Let's go ahead and add that field here. This now calculates the sum of those estimated values. And we can see that if I update this, let's change this from 50,000 to 75,000, and we'll go back here, we can see that that value updates. So it's dynamic in nature that as we update those records, as we add new opportunities with their own values, we're going to see that reflected in the data. We should have done a better job at titling this. We just called it roll up. And in fact, we don't want to roll up all of the values because take a look at this. If I look at my opportunities here, we have different stages of those opportunities. So our pipeline is our deals that haven't closed yet. So we'd want to do something and say, let's make sure that if we've already closed that deal, we're not going to count it in our pipeline. So we don't want this $40,000 closed opportunity to show in that number. So let's come back here and we'll change this. First of all, let's call it something more specific like our pipeline, and then we can include filters. So in this case, we will add a new filter and we'll have the filter be for the stage. If the stage is none of, and we're going to say if it's closed one or closed loss, we don't want that to count. So we'll save that, we'll update it, and these values will now update to show me my current pipeline. Now imagine if we're a sales rep and we're walking into a deal review and we're being asked about our pipeline for those given opportunities. Now we can just click into those roll-up values and this is going to display those underlying records. And because we can configure those fields, we can show where that revenue is actually coming from. So it's really nice to be able to have the roll up, but then be able to drill into what exact records get rolled up. You might think about using roll ups to be able to show progress for your tasks and roll ups are really great when it comes to reporting. So get started with them in your next application today.